The 4.2 liter FSI V8, which powered the first generation Audi R8, makes about 430 Nm meters of torque at just 4000 RPM. But at the same time, the similarly displaced 4.2 liter TDI V8 diesel from Audi makes a staggering 850 Nm meters of torque at just 1700 RPM. But have you ever wondered why the diesels always make so much more torque than its gasoline counterpart? That's what we are going to explore in this video. But in order to do so, it is necessary to have a basic understanding about the working of the diesel engine. And I know that most of you guys watching this video already know how a diesel engine works. But for those of you who don't, allow me to explain briefly. The diesel engine works based on four stroke cycle, which includes suction stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. During the suction stroke, the piston creates a vacuum inside the cylinder by moving from top dead center to bottom dead center. This vacuum created helps to suck in air into the cylinder through the inlet valves. During the compression stroke, the piston squeezes the air to a very high pressure by moving from bottom dead center to top dead center. At the end of the compression stroke, highly atomized diesel fuel is injected into the compressed air causing the mixture to self-ignite, initiating the power stroke. In the last exhaust stroke, the piston blows the exhaust gas out of the combustion chamber through the exhaust valve by moving from bottom dead center to top dead center. The gasoline engine also works in the same four-stroke cycle. But the difference is, in the gasoline engine, the fuel is mixed with air before entering into the combustion chamber and is ignited using the spark plug inside the combustion chamber during the power stroke. But in the case of a diesel, only air is entering into the combustion chamber, then the fuel is injected into the air during the power stroke. Unlike the gasoline engine, the diesel engine doesn't have an ignition source, so the temperature inside the combustion chamber should be about the self-ignition temperature of diesel. This self-ignition is what creates power in diesel engine. To reach the self-ignition temperature, which is about 180 degrees Celsius or 450 degrees Fahrenheit, the air has to be really compressed inside the combustion chamber. Because of that, the diesel engines usually have a much higher compression ratio than the gasoline engines, almost twice as much. The diesel engine achieved this kind of compression ratio through one of its design elements, the stroke length. Almost all of the diesel engines are under squared engines, which means the stroke length is larger than the board. And this higher stroke length is the key towards diesel engines torque in nature. But before moving on, first let's see what the torque actually is. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, the torque is defined as a force that produces or tends to produce rotation or torsion. A measure of the effectiveness of such a force that consists of the product of the force and the perpendicular distance from the center line of the action of the force to the axis of rotation. That's quite a long explanation. But the part about the product of the force and the perpendicular distance from the center line of the action of the force to the axis of rotation is important to our understanding of the generation of torque in an engine. The greater the crank pin offset to the center line of the crank, the greater this perpendicular distance will be for any degree of crankshaft rotation after the top dead center and before the bottom dead center. Consequently, the more leverage the pressure on the top of the piston that produces or tends to produce rotation of the crankshaft, which is what we call as torque. Another reason for the torque in nature of the diesel engine is the effective cylinder pressure. Most of the diesel engine exists today are turbocharged, and almost all of them operate in very high boost pressure. Diesel engines routinely make 15 to 30 psi of peak boost pressure, and it's not uncommon for a modified turbo diesel to hit 30 to 50 psi of peak boost. And that definitely makes torque by reducing pumping loss on the intake stroke and increasing cylinder pressure in the power stroke. So in conclusion, the two main reasons for the torque age of the diesels is stroke length and the effective cylinder pressure. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, please subscribe. See you guys next time. Drive safe.